Hello, I'm Evan Graham. This episode officially launches Vlog Life here on our website. First things first, the vlog is free from start to finish. You may be familiar with some of the videos we loaded first, and I hope you'll enjoy them and find them useful. I think you'll also find our new videos to be different, and in many measurable ways, better. All will be high definition and widescreen, for example. Today, we'll start our journey into training principles, and we'll discuss ways that you can apply your training to be more effective. This is the good stuff. Now in each episode, I plan to leave you with a pearl of wisdom, either a treasured Rexism from the late Rex Carr, or an ism of my own. Today, it's one of mine. Successful people do the things that unsuccessful people are unwilling to do. Prepare to change for the better. Often a trainer may become comfortable with habits which might actually be holding them back and progressing toward the quality of trainer they might otherwise be, and even a better handler. A classic example might be a handler who has become so dependent on dropping his hand the exact same way every time, thus overusing the hand when sending the dog on a mark or on a blind. I watched this clip of my friend Vince running a transitional dog on multiple blinds. The drill itself is not what's significant here, but notice each time Vince sends the dog, he does it just a little differently. At first, he sends the dog with minimal use of the hand. Then, on the second send, he uses the hand with quite a bit more emphasis. Having gotten there in a two week period, but then on the third blind, he sends him no hands at all. Why the difference? He's reading the dog and reacting to what he sees. Using your hand to send the dog is a nuance. It's not something that needs to happen every single time or, or the same way every time. On each send, Vince sends a different degree of focus or it's distraction for that and reacted right to it. The act of reading your dog is one of the most important skills you can develop as a trainer and as a handler. It begins when you start training your new puppy That's and becomes after. more important as he develops. As you advance any skill or skill set, also develop the habit of developing a journal. Keep it just as detailed as it needs to be, but not overdo it. In a future episode, I'll cover good, efficient journaling practices, and I'll show you what a good journal page looks like. Keep your good habits alive throughout your entire training career. Nothing will serve you better than sound habits. As we go along, we'll have troubleshooting episodes, and those are also valuable. We're ready to start our journey. As long as the Lord allows me to live and remain healthy, I'll be here to assist you and to answer your questions. This is my life's passion, and it's my commitment to you. Fetch. Heal. Sit.
drop. Set. Good job. Sit. 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 Hop, hop. Here. Our next episode will cover other important training principles that can make you a more effective trainer. That'll continue through the first several episodes on this subject. Perfect throw. Here we go.